Astrid? Astrid! <gasps> I've been looking for you. Why? Everything that's happening to me. You're responsible. Did... Did Xavier tell you that? I need this to stop! I... I don't know how! Yes, you do! Stay away from me! You can't run away from this! Rachel? Eric? Are you okay? Faith... she... She's safe. Rach, what the hell happened out there? I met Xavier in the woods, and... He tried to kill me, Eric. He blamed me for the withering. Then he was attacked by one of those monsters. It killed him. Shit. Someone else was there. She wasn't from Hope's Junction, but she was like me. She lost her son, but he came back. Different. Just like Faith. Well, maybe she knows who took Faith. Maybe it was the same person who took her son. I don't know, but ever since he's been back, he's been repeating the same phrase. To suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees. It sounded like a foundation prayer. But I've never heard it before. Well, is there anyone who might know what it means? Barbara? Rachel, she's going to ask what happened to Xavier. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. Miss Johansson? I'm... I'm, uh... Your sister is ready for visitors. Britt? She's here? She's resting comfortably. I was just going to give her some medication for the pain. Is that a problem? She's sober. But I'm worried her recovery may not be as solid as she makes it out to be. Does she really need them? Well, I suppose not. Can I see her now? Yes, of course. This way. Brit, what, what happened to you? This happened because of you. What are you talking about? Orson, he's different, Astrid. You decided to leave him alone in that fucked up house of misery we grew up in. What did you think would happen? I don't understand. He tried to kill me. What? Brit, I don't... I don't know what to do. You're his mother, figure it out. And keep him the hell away from me. Orson? It's Mama. Everything okay? Please, the pain. Your sister explained that you've been doing well in your sobriety. I don't want to jeopardize that. I hope you can understand. Fine. Buzz me if you need anything else.
voices. They're coming for me, and then they'll come for you. Nurse! Go away! You need to bring me those pills! Krista? What the hell? Eric, stay back. Faith, what are you doing? Mommy cut herself to save me. Will you? Or do you not believe as much as Mommy? Take it. Take it. Yes. Krista! What... what happened? Faith! What's happened to you? Krista... I... She wanted me to cut out my eye. She's acting just like Rachel, and you need to do something about it. What am I supposed to do? Ground her? Look, if you don't want to do it, then I'll handle it. What's that supposed to mean? saying it, over and over, and no one saw who went into his room. I just wish I knew what was wrong with him. If I knew where he was or who took him. Was he? Oh! I was saying, there's something I used to use, with your sister. It's at the intersection of hypnotic suggestion and brain mapping, but it's... But what? It can be unreliable, and... It could trigger something unpleasant for him. Let me think about it. Of course. I... I never did thank you for letting me speak with Orson. It didn't go the way I'd hoped. But I appreciate you trusting me. Of course. I think I was looking for answers in the wrong places. Asta just felt so close to me again. After all these years. But now, even after all this time, I... I just don't know if I can say goodbye. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know you have enough to worry about. We can't put a timetable on grief, okay? It comes when it comes. And nobody should have to face it alone. Together, okay? We'll face it together. We... I'm... I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I should go. Olivia. Rachel, is Xavier with you? Mm. No. Have you seen him? I'm starting to get worried. Xavier... He's, uh... Dead. What? How? He... He tried to kill me. So... You killed him? But there was a monster. It, uh... I see. No need to say more. Xavier was punished for what he tried to do to you. Really? There were warning signs that he wanted to hurt you. I'm sorry I ignored him. Barbara, I need your help. 
anything. Have you heard the verse? To suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees. Where did you hear that? What does it mean? It means the Heralds are back. The Heralds? A, a splinter sect of the Foundation. They had their own interpretations about Paul Radcliffe's writings. Their writings are considered forbidden. Why? Instead of stopping the withering, they welcome it. They believe the Pestilent to be a, a savior, a being that desires to take our pain away. Consume it, so to speak. Rachel, they're known to use children in their rituals. They started all of this. They took faith. Could there be a Herald here, at the Foundation? It's possible. It would explain a lot. What do you know about Krista Lee? Krista is a lot of things, but a heretic? Then what about this Nora? She showed up out of nowhere with your daughter. I... I don't know. We need to expose whoever it is before they open the door. The door? Hey. Hey. You said you wanted to keep discussing what we were talking about? I did. Tell me more about that interview technique. Oh. The one you used on my sister. To recover her memories. Astrid, I don't think that's a good idea. Please, just explain how it works. Why? It didn't work on Ava. Please. It's basically hypnotism. Go on. You're a scientist, Astrid. You really believe in hypnotism? We both experience things we can't explain. I'm willing to try anything to make him remember what happened. Maybe it's better he doesn't remember. It can be a kindness our mind offers us. Forgetting our worst days. Yes. I know. I haven't done something like this in a long time. And even if I could get him to remember something, it might upset him. Is it worth that risk? Faith? What are you doing? Where's your father? <laughs> Faith? Faith? Answer me! <laughs> Faith? I am your mother, and you need to answer me. Rachel? Is everything okay? I was looking for Eric and Faith. They're in the meeting room. How did your conversation with Barbara go? That's none of your concern. Did Xavier tell you about Ascension? Did he invite you back into the Foundation? Did you kill him? I know everything that happens here. So you knew he wanted to kill me? You fucking bitch! You knew and you let me go out there alone? I had my suspicions, but I didn't know for sure. I promise. Rachel, Xavier gave up on the Foundation. On everything we worked for. It's better that he's gone. What, so you can take his place? Whether you believe me or not, I only care about saving this town. You don't have to like me, but I hope you can at least respect that. How is she? 
well, there was an incident with Krista. What kind of incident? Faith got a hold of a ritual knife. She tried to make Krista cut herself. What? The mean lady wanted to punish me, but Daddy said no. Krista tried to discipline our child? I took care of it. What did Barbara say? Did she know anything that could help Faith? She told me about a group called the Heralds, an offshoot of the Foundation that wants to usher in the Withering. What's that have to do with Faith? Whoever took her must be a member of the Heralds. They could be hiding among us. So what do we do? I need to talk to Nora. She might know more than she's saying, if she's not behind all of it herself. You'll have to find her first. No one's seen her. I'll find her. Rach, what are you gonna do? I just want to talk to her. Take Faith home and I'll meet you there. I need to talk to you. You're leaving? Look, I know you think I'm letting her walk all over me, but after what happened in the meeting room, with the knife, I think taking Faith home will be better for everyone. I don't think that matters anymore. Krista? Did I ever tell you what I saw out there when Xavier went missing? No. After we got separated, I found myself in this desolate place. I was overwhelmed with this feeling of hopelessness. It was suffocating. There was this monster with a staff. Its gut had this opening like some sick mouth filled with what looked like fingers reaching out to consume me. But what scared me most was there was a part of me that wanted it. I, I wanted to crawl inside just to make that feeling, that despair go away. Eric, I think Xavier was right. And I have to finish what he started. Krista, what are you talking about? Ascension. We have to leave this place. And I want you to come with me. Think about it. A new home, free of blight. Faith would be safe. We could be a family. Krista, I... How do we even know this is real? And what about Rachel? Eric, I need you to listen to me. I have seen what's coming, and we cannot stop it. Do what's right for you and your daughter. It's worth the risk. Olivia, please. I need to know what happened to him. <sighs> okay. I'll give it a try. Okay. Orson, look up and to your left. Now just keep blinking while you drift off. Look into the deepest part of yourself. What do you see? What do you see inside your eyelids? Trees. Okay, good. What do you see in the trees? Light. What is the light doing, Orson? It's... Burning! It's burning me all over! What? What's burning you, Orson? We should stop. 
No, I need to know. Help me! Orson, Angel, what's burning you? Did you know him? He worked at the still mill, until the accident. Big Smile always talked about playing guitar. Thanks anyway. Nora? Your Faith's mother. Can we talk? How's Faith doing? That's why I came to talk with you. I need your help. Of course. I'm happy to help. Faith has been acting so strangely since she came home. Drawing strange images and repeating cryptic phrases. And the way she acted towards you, her own mother. If there's anything you can tell me about finding Faith that might give us any clues. It's like I told your husband. My car went in the ditch because of the fog, and when I got out, I found your daughter. I wish I knew more. Have you ever heard the phrase, to suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees? Where did you hear that? Why? I... I got a letter from my brother. Obviously it wasn't really from him. Probably some asshole in town who's playing a sick prank on me. But that was scrawled on the back. To suffer is to thrive in the grove of dead trees. Can I see the letter? There's... things in it I'd rather not share. Look, I appreciate how your husband got me the chance to plead my case to those Foundation fanatics. Then come with me and explain this to them. Back to the Foundation? No thank you. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for Faith. Nora, please. I'm just trying to help my daughter. Fine. Let's go. Why are we wasting time with this? We have more important things to worry about. Rachel has been searching for the person who took her daughter, and I thought it would be good for you to hear what she's found. Is that what this is really about? While we were looking for Faith, I came across a phrase, one I thought might be from the Foundation. When I asked Barbara about it, she told me it connected to a heretic group known as the Heralds. But you'd never brought them up before I asked. If this group is such a threat, why didn't you bring them up earlier? What are you saying? Is anything you told me true? Or was it all to just keep me in the dark? Listen to yourself. If I was a herald, why would I expose myself by talking openly about any of this? I... Rachel, this is a very serious accusation. One I cannot abide. Krista! Nora, she's lying to us! Even if she is, I don't care about any of this. I think you should leave too, Rachel. And I wouldn't advise returning. Nora, wait! She took Faith. I know it. And I know that all this bullshit you're wrapped up in, your little girl deserves better. Stay away from me! Eric, I want you to lock the door. And don't open it for anyone but me. Rach? Rachel? Eric? Eric! Shit. Is that you? 
Rachel? Rachel! Astrid! How did you find me? I... I don't know. I just followed your voice and... gonna keep coming for us. It's good I found you. I think I found something from the quote you gave me. There's a group of heretics called the Heralds. I think they took our kids. What? I think they might be embedded in the Foundation. But if there's one among you, then the woman who took Orson, they must be working together. I tried exposing them. I thought it might be one of our elders. And was it? She denied everything. But now that it's out in the open, things are much more dangerous for both of us. How dangerous? Look what they did to our kids. There's no telling what they do to us. Is there someone you trust? Someone who could protect you and your son? I'd be putting them at risk too. We'll need all the help we can get. Nails? I've been trying to call you. I've been busy. Mind if I come in? I need a favor. It's about your pain pills. Are you fucking serious? No, it's not like that. I want you to hide them. From who? The maid? From me. Oh. I promise I'll explain everything later. But for right now, do it for me. You know, I spent a lot of time being angry at you and feeling sorry for myself. And now? And now I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> 